Welcome back to the talk tonight. County Executive Joni Mahoney continues as our guest tonight. And let's dig a little deeper into this idea of what this $30 million that has been proposed from the governor is going to do for Onondaga Lake. What, what do you have in mind here? Uh, the project for Onondaga Lake is a pretty comprehensive project. And we made a pitch to the governor that included a tourism component. We talked about partnering with the state fair. There's a community development um, piece that would address some of the housing issues. The village of Salve is a wonderful place. Some of it could use a little bit of attention. And we're talking about um, Main Street, the business district, mm -hmm. and some housing, perhaps senior housing. Um, we're talking about um, an economic development component, which was a requirement. The state had, all across the state, if you want a state investment, it has to come with the prospect of jobs. So the county is committing to using our resources to do an infrastructure project that would open up several hundred acres of development for industry. And a lot of what has happened in Salve, historically, they've hosted the industry and then when the industry left, not only were they left without jobs, but they were left with a mess. With the blight left there's, behind. Right, yeah. and there's a lot of brownfields. And yeah. when our economic development office brings site selectors around, you know, it's just too much of a headache. And so we want Salve sort of to be recognized for the role they've played in this whole community by helping spruce things up because we all benefited from what happened in Salve. How transformative could this be? Or, you know, $30 million could go very quickly. Right, I think people are gonna be very excited. There is uh, still, I think, a perception of the lake because we've moved so quickly that's not accurate. The right. lake is, it smells good, it looks good. And people have never seen the vista. What you can see of the city of Syracuse and the village of Liverpool across the lake, people are going to be very surprised when they get out there and they see that lake. And the, the benefit of having one of the dirtiest lakes in the country is that Onondaga County owns over 90% of the shoreline. Very so it's unusual. ours. Yeah. And I've committed to public access, and this project would include public access. And it's a good partnership. Maybe we could save the state some money if they help us build something that can serve both of will our the jobs. Full, will the lake have a full loop around it by the time you're done? What, by the time we're done, there's going to be a full loop around the lake, but there is a time constraint because the Honeywell project isn't going to be done until 2018. We can't go across where mm -hmm. Honeywell is dredging, but then we have to get over the CSX tracks, and we're talking about taking the loop right into the Inner Harbor and then back up the other side of the lake back to Liverpool. So there is going to be a, a full loop at some point, but it's not... It gets done while we're still young enough to enjoy yeah. that, Jenny. Oh, you are very young. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just quickly, You'll before be we let you go, political aspirations for you. Will you stay on a local level, or can we expect to see you uh, maybe on a state level someday or elsewhere? I love my job. I think that's what we're supposed to say when we have this, that's right? Exactly yeah. said, that's exactly <laughs> what I said. That's exactly what I said. Also. You were going to say. But it happens to be true. I love my job. <laughs> And I really am doing this job because I'm trying to make a great place for my kids. And this really seems like where I can do it. Well, I bet the lake will have a full loop by the time they're grown up fully. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, we'll have you out there running. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Thanks, Joni, for coming in today. We Thanks. appreciate it. Very interesting. Always appreciate your conversation, too, in the talk tonight. You can post your comments on our CMI Central Facebook page or the website anytime. By the way.